What's up everyone, this is Cyberdyne8610, and today we have a very special opening for you guys. Gonna open up a Yu-Gi-Oh! Metal Raiders box. So, it's been a while since I opened up one of these boxes. I remember doing one for uh, a special opening for you guys in the past, and uh, I was able to get another one of these from Big and Collectibles. And also, it is the version of it that uh, was out for Europe as well. So that's kind of interesting, as you can see here, for Europe, English edition. So it's still, of course, in English. And, uh, yeah, let's go on ahead and open this and uh, see what we get. Hopefully we'll get, like, uh, Mirror Force or, or some of the really good cards from this because uh, this set still has a lot of useful cards from back in the day that are still usable today so it's kind of cool that a set that's as old as this this being the second set that came out for Yu-Gi-Oh can still have so many useful cards but yeah also like I said I got this from Big and Collectibles so we should check them out link in the description Let's see what we get looks like the packs kind of moved around I like to get Black Skull Dragon as well. I mean, that'd be really cool. Let's see. The feeling of the older cards is different now. Uh, Witch of Black Force. Good rare. Banned, but uh, still a cool one to get. Uh, Soggy the Dark Clown. I forgot he was actually in this. Yeah, the cards feel so different. The newer cards, they feel thinner and kind of slicker, and these feel a little bit rougher, which I actually kind of like that a little bit uh, better. They look like they're better material. Uh, Myla's uh, Radiant. Uh, King of Yami Makai. I remember getting like a toy of that. Legul was also in there. I remember <laughs> that from Weevil using that against Yugi. It didn't end well for him. It was a bad day on that train. <laughs> big Eye. Not number 11, but just regular Big Eye. We have a Cannon Soldier. Jiragumo. remember using that a lot in the games. hear an airplane in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I swear, every time I hit that record button, it's those Raid Raptors, man. Let's see, and a Harpy Lady Sisters. Super rare. That's pretty cool to see again. And also, remember, this is an older set, so you get a hollow or a rare. You don't get both. They started that in 5Ds. Oh, need to separate that. There we go. Crass clown in that. They, that card used to scare me. I don't like clowns. <laughs> and they're just creepy, so. And it's a zombie clown, so. Oof. Uh, Mooka Mooka. <laughs> remember using that card. And Guilty of D Knight. I remember using that too. A lot of these bring back a lot of memories. From the, from the video games, the show, and of course, even actually buying these back then. We have Starboy. I always thought that was kind of creepy too. I mean, just kind of look at him. Of course, a lot of the old Yu-Gi-Oh cards had, I don't know, a, a lot of them just kind of look a little bit scary. They look more like monsters, I guess, like they're supposed to be. Uh, Prince of uh, Surugi, I think is how you say the name of that one. I remember actually using that card back then too. Seven Colored Fish, another one. <laughs> I remember using. I think Umi is also in this, right? The field spell? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's in the first one. Legend of Blue Eyes. Unhappy Maiden. And Heavy Storm! There we go, from its original pack and everything. Super rare. Now that's awesome. It's actually possible for this card to come back at some point, so. There we go. I don't mind having another holographic one. Cybersaurus. Oh, this is the one, too, where it actually... Yeah, it actually has the gun. I think it was either later versions of the set or something. Maybe it was from the Legendary Collection. They actually changed that where it looks like a toy gun instead of, like, a Gatlin gun. If you notice that. I know that's one of the sensors that they changed. There are two other cards that are like that, too, but I actually remember that one. They weren't as bad on the sensors at the B. Beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bistro Butcher. Then Magician of Faith. That's a good rare. Another airplane. Skull Knight. I remember thinking that was a cool card. I remember actually wanting that card. <laughs> wanting to get a few of those because I thought they just looked awesome. Of course, back then I couldn't buy many packs, so it was, you know, there were a lot of commons I wanted. Feral Imp on that. Then we have a uh, Hoshengen. It's like Starboy. <laughs> they both look like Rabbit Horseman and Mystic Horseman. That's cool. 
going to be a little bit longer video because I'm kind of enjoying the nostalgia of seeing the older cards, so we're not going to go too quick. Killer Needle, Big Eye, again, that's cool. Uh, Mask of Darkness, remember using this card too. It's pretty good, get back a trap card. Uh, like I said, King Oyama Kai, and I think this card's cool, Castle of Dark Illusions, just because look at its uh, attack and defense. I mean, that's just really weird. 920 and 19, uh, was it 30? Yeah. There's only, I think, like three different cards that are like that. I think they're all the cards that Panic used. I even still have the CD where they had a song for Panic. <laughs> the one you get, like, from McDonald's. Time Wizard! Oh, man, that is awesome! I forgot he was an Ultra Rare! Oh, man, that is so cool! I remember trying to get this card out. I think, I think he was in the starter deck. I think I remember... I think that's right. The Joey starter deck? If I'm not... Uh, losing my mind on that, but uh, of course, you had to try his effect back then, it was awesome. But uh, yeah, it's really cool to see as an Ultra Rare, I forgot about that. He actually was an Ultra in this set. And Dragon Piper. Dragon Piper, he will save us all from the new Blue Eyes support. I believe in him. And we can turn him into tunes. Use that old Yu-Gi-Oh logic. <laughs> I, I like duels that were like that. They didn't really teach you the game as well, but uh, they're always random. Share the pain. Then a Shadow Ghoul. Labyrinth Tank. I always like seeing the different fusions that they had back then. They're still cool even today. There's still, I think, quite a few that were missing that Japan has. The Astral Packs are helping us, though. Blade Fly, rare. Baby Dragon, there we go. We need to get Thousand Dragon. We got Time Wizard. I think Thousand Dragon. I think it's a secret rare, actually, in this set, isn't it? And I know I keep asking you guys questions like you're able to respond to me right away, but tell me in the comments. Nope. Let me, there. <laughs> Gotta fix that. And it looks like we have Tribute to the Doomed. I remember using this card, too. That's really awesome. I always thought it was creepy. Like, is he unwrapping the mummy or is he wrapping up the mummy and is it a person <laughs> that you know I don't know it just seems creepy I, don't, I guess I just don't get it what it was trying to be on that but I always thought the artwork was kind of weird like did he kill a person and wrap him up or or is he unwrapping a mummy I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh Mysteries <laughs> Starboy ah, Pumpkin King and there's also a Little Swordsman. We got one of those earlier, too. I saw it. That was the one that one of the combos I showed you guys a replay of. I've seen a few people showing that, too, where it's able to basically have infinite attack. <laughs> it's really awesome. It's kind of funny to see an older card like that do something like that. A Cannon Soldier. Maybe trying to collect those. I still really like Toon Cannon Soldier just because he looks so funny with his eyes and like a mouth. Toons will always be awesome though. A little Chimera. It's pretty cool. A uh, Launcher Spider. I remember actually having a toy of Launcher Spider. I had like uh, one of the little model kits you could buy. I know there's like one I think that would actually like shoot missiles and walk or something. Like remote control. I think there was something like that. If I could ever find one of those, I'd probably get it, just because. <laughs> and uh, Sui Jin! There we go! One of the pieces to Gate Guardian! I guess, yeah, I think it's Thousands of Reckon and Gate Guardian that are secret rare in this set. Or maybe it's just one or the other on it, but uh, I know Gate Guardian is secret rare in this set. Yeah, there's one of the pieces. I remember using all the pieces to them as well. They're actually really good. They're still, I guess, kind of decent, really, for older cards. Like, you could... You could probably annoy someone pretty bad with one of them today. They're not not awful at all. Uh, Robin Goblin. I remember always using uh, Kazijin, which is the green one. Cause that's the one I actually got from the packs, which I... I think he's the weakest. I think he's like 24 on the attack. Ah, uh, Thunder Dragon, that's cool. Malus uh, Radiant. 
we have like three packs left. So let's see, maybe we can still get a secret rare. Secret rares, I don't believe we're guaranteed in a box in these older packs. And uh, also there was only like a couple in a set, not like 10 like we have nowadays. Ah, uh, Sangin! There we go! <laughs> he's actually kind of happy again. Lately, with the cards we see with Sangin, he's crying or something. Poor guy. I actually feel sorry for him, even though I hated him when he was <laughs> actually in the game. Let's not all be on his side now. Remember, everyone, the, the torment he caused us. And another <laughs> double time wizards, man. <laughs> if one doesn't work, we have a backup plan. Don't worry, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, another ultra time wizard. That's really cool. Like I said, the coin flip doesn't work for you. Well, here you go. Just throw another one down. We got this. I don't have the kind of luck, though, that Joey does <laughs> with coin flips. Or dice rolls or anything like that <laughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh. And the last one we have is Shadow Ghoul. So yeah, there we oh, Soul Release, that's cool. But yeah, there we go, that is the box opening. We did pretty good with this, I mean, I'm really happy. I mean, it's an older box, it's always fun to open, no matter. But uh, getting Time Wizard's really cool, especially getting Double Time Wizard, and uh, getting Heavy Storm like that. Still, like I said, a, a cool card that could come back. You never know what Konami's gonna do on that. They bring back a lot of older cards like that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this opening. I thought it was uh, just a really cool opening I wanted to do. I still wanna get Legend of Blue Eyes box. I know you guys are gonna say it in the comments. I will try to get one. I just know that they're really, really expensive expensive right now so if I can at some point get one for a decent price and not spend like a thousand dollars on a box because I don't really want to do that <laughs> but uh, yeah and I also want to get a lot of the boxes that I've never opened like Ancient Sanctuary and a lot of those different you know boxes a lot of the older ones that you don't really see and they weren't like in the legendary collections but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Tell me in the comments what boxes, older packs, uh, special editions, tins, all kinds of stuff that you want to see uh, for future openings. Like this video if you enjoyed And uh, also subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos, and anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! I open up on this channel, whether it's uh, English or Japanese. And also, I like to open up a lot of the older boxes you can see here. So we're going to, like I said, go through a lot of the older boxes, too. As always, thank you guys for watching again. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!